Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here. It is Sunday evening and it is beautiful. It was a nice weekend. It really was. But anyway, the title of this video is uh, How to Take Your Fireworks Show to the Next Level. Now, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands, probably, firework videos on YouTube. And there's some really good information out there. Uh, and there's also some really bad information out there. Good way to get yourself killed. So use your best judgment. But anyway, what I want to talk about is something a little bit different. This isn't like some new firing system or, or some new type of firework or how to hook things up. I mean, I did show you how I hook like my mortar racks up, how I uh, use liquid nails for all those cakes, like the 200 gram cakes or 500 gram cakes, glue them to something or you'll kick them over and you'll get hurt or hurt somebody else. That'd even be worse. But anyway, so, and I use zip ties for my uh, mortar racks. I've used tape before. It works good too. Uh, the zip ties are a little slower, but I like the zip ties better. I just think they hold better, and uh, that's why I do it. It takes a little bit longer, but I try to do it the way I think it's best. You ever been to like a 4th of July party, and somebody, you know, they bought a couple thousand dollars worth of fireworks, and they're out there in the middle of a field with a Bic lighter, you know? for hours and hours you know oh my god i'm getting tired just thinking about it you know it's all about the preparation i mean i probably will spend i don't know 40 hours to get ready for a half hour fireworks show uh, that's probably a little overkill i just like things to go very smoothly uh the night of the party so you got to put the time in before for it to be a success but anyway, what I want to talk about uh, are some things that I think get overlooked sometimes. For example, you need to size your fireworks for the distance your crowd is from the show. You know, do you ever go to like a big city, see big fireworks, you know? I mean, they've got huge shells, 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch shells, whatever. But they've got to be that big because the crowd is so far away. And even with those big shells, you know, if you're a mile away or a mile and a half away watching it, it looks nice, but you're only filling part of the sky, you know, kind of like what's directly in front of them off in a distance. Now here, we use all just consumer grade fireworks, but the crowd is only about 250 feet away. And that's a safe distance, especially the way I have my, uh, you know, everything's, like I said, liquid nailed down or all the mortar racks have legs on them. You, you, they won't fall over. So the crowd here, let me show you. So everybody's going to be sitting on both sides of this little road going down there and even up towards the house. And I set everything off down near the uh, deer feeder there. But even with the consumer grade fireworks, that one maple tree there kind of straight ahead in the middle, you know, like the Excalibur shells, for example, they'll go about two and a half times the height of that maple tree. I'll put a picture in here uh, from last year. And so, you know, they're going off way up there. Then you have like some smaller shells and some maybe 500 gram cakes and 200 gram cakes all going off at the same time. But you're filling the entire area. It's almost like the fireworks are going off above you, but they're really not. So uh, for this distance, the consumer grade firework is just perfect. You know, if you had like a six inch shell going off way up there and nothing in between there and the ground, wouldn't be, wouldn't be too good, I don't think. The other thing is uh, the atmosphere. And I'm not talking about weather either. I'm talking about, you know, you have to have the right atmosphere for whatever your kind of party you're having. Fireworks are for celebrations. So ours is a 4th of July party, although it's being held on July 1st, not the 4th. So you have to you know kind of set the mood so to speak uh, what I always do my daughters they usually run all the music up until about nine o'clock and then I take over from there and I'll have like a nice playlist for an hour long and a fireworks show starts a little after 10 but so I start off with some like classic music and uh, you know old rock songs and uh, things like that and then as you get closer to the fireworks you start transitioning to uh, you know more patriotic music maybe some Neil Diamond America. I mean, there's hundreds of great songs you can play. And we use a, uh, it's a Bose L1 sound system. I bought it probably four or five years ago. And it's, it's really nice. It's, uh, I'll tell you what, when I got it, 
I hooked it up outside here and because you need big sound for outside it's way different than being indoors you need something big especially with fireworks going off so this thing's got like a base unit and a tower you put together it's a Bose L1 but anyway I hooked it all up and hooked my iPad up to it and I start playing a song I crank it up about half three quarters of the way it sounds crystal clear and I texted my uh, nephew he lives a little over half a mile away through the woods that way and I text him I said go outside tell me what you hear and he went outside text me back and he knew exactly what song I was playing at over a half mile away so it's a great system but before the actual fireworks start you know first you got your it's just nice everybody's sitting here you have some of those outdoor party lights that all get shut off for the fireworks then uh, since it's a 4th of July party which is huge here in the States at least for me it is you know I have some viewers from uh, the UK and Australia but uh, I'm sure you have big holidays there but uh, here 4th of July rules that and Christmas and deer season those are the three big ones here 4th Christmas deer season anyway so before the fireworks actually start we have somebody sing the national anthem not some hack either this girl can sing and after that my neighbor uh, he plays a trumpet very well he like, volunteers at military funerals and he plays taps on his trumpet and then we'll play a couple recordings beforehand uh, one a real good one is the national anthem as you never heard it before you can find that on YouTube and it's all about the story of Francis Scott Key and Fort Henry and and all that it's really really a good uh, good recording to play for a 4th of July party and then after all that starts after all that's over next up we always start with the same song after that there's usually five songs that the fireworks go to but the first one's always Ray Charles America the Beautiful I mean you know you don't fix something if it's not broke that's what I always say and our Ray Charles is just perfect and it's kind of a slower paced song very patriotic so you've got you know some big mortars going off but nothing real rapid fire you know it's just kind of laid back you're easing everybody into this fireworks show and then after Ray Charles I can't I'm not gonna tell you what the next four songs are you'll that's always top secret around here so you got four more songs and each one it keeps building you know faster fireworks some like big Z pattern cakes and until the grand finale and then it's uh it's pretty cool it's uh and then after the fireworks show the lights come back on everybody leaves until next year but that's uh pretty much it how we do it so uh once again i mention it all the time if you enjoy these videos please click subscribe hit the like button share it if you'd like uh i know this is more like an outdoor channel actually rural living working outdoors hunting jeeps tractors all the stuff that i'm into but anyway i'm going to have a couple more videos on fireworks because that is a big part of our year getting ready for this party and then uh next week i'll have some really good uh video i'll put a real good video together maybe like a two-part video the party one of the whole party you know everyone's showing up the parking and the food the whole nine yards and a little bit of fireworks and then i'll probably have one video of just the fireworks show maybe even yeah we'll have some drone footage and stuff we did that last year so i'll end this video with a little bit of footage drone footage from last year's uh but once again if you enjoy these videos please click subscribe thanks and uh, have a good week